In Kings of War, you can measure distances at any time. Distances are always measured from the nearest point between the bases of the two units. In order to avoid confusion, keep your units at least one inch away from all other units, friends and enemies. You can ignore that rule when you charge. During the move phase, pick each of your units in turn and the unit's leader will give them one of the following orders. Halt. The unit doesn't move. Change facing. The unit remains stationary and can pivot around its centre to face any direction. Advance. The unit can advance straight forward up to a number of inches equal to its speed. At any point during this move, it can make a single pivot around the centre of up to 90 degrees. This can be at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. At the double, the unit can advance straight forward up to double its speed. Back. The unit can move straight backwards at up to half its speed. Sidestep. The unit can move sideways to its left or right at up to half its speed. Charge! The most exciting of orders, and also the most complex. This is the only way that units can get into base-to-base -base contact with other units. Friendly units can be moved through, except when charging, but you cannot end a unit's move on top of another unit. Also, at the end of their move, your unit must be at least one inch away from friendly units. Enemy units block movement. Your units can never approach to within one inch of them except when charging. A unit can charge a single enemy unit as long as the following conditions are met. The target is at least partially in your unit's front arc. The unit's leader can see the target. The distance between the base of the unit's lead and the closest point of the target is equal to or less than double your unit's speed. There is enough space for your unit to physically move into contact with the target. During a charge, charging units can move forward without measuring how much distance they actually cover and pivot twice around their centre up to 90 degrees at any point during their move. They must, however, use the shortest way possible. If a charging unit's leader is mostly in the target's flank arc, then the charge must be to the flank. If the charging unit's leader is mostly in the target's rear arc, then they must charge in the rear. If two or more of your units are able to charge the same enemy unit, they can do so as long as they can fit. Just issue a simultaneous order to all of the units that are charging the same target. If there isn't enough space for all of the units to fit against the facing of the target, some of the units will not charge and must be given a different order.